going to explain the rock cycle with chocolate. So stay tuned because it does get messy. I'm starting off eroding a rock. We have had weathering. You know, swooshy river, swooshy river. And we have our sand. We need lots of pressure of rock on top of it. This plus some water helps the grains stick together to become a rock, not just sand. It's cemented pretty well, but there's still some air you can see, which is often what happens. We have our little pat of chocolate sandstone. This is going to end up with some more stuff on top of it. Our pat of chocolate is now getting buried nice and deep getting hotter and hotter. As the Earth's crust gets deeper, the hotter you get. Quick accidental landslide. Now we're going to introduce that heat. Now the key here is it hasn't fully melted. So let's add pressure to get our metamorphic rock. You can see our sand grains have fused, but they've not fully melted. But to get an igneous rock, that's exactly what we need. Now it's melted. This could stay underground as magma, but it wouldn't really be a homemade experiment if I didn't make a volcano. Spot the error, I didn't check where the hole in the plastic bag was. But in the name of science, look at that lava go. And thankfully, this is lava you can eat. Now, I made such a mess that I forgot to do the crystallisation process. But just know, this would crystallise, become a rock, ready to erode again. 